Okay, I got them on. Um, it wasn't a difficult process. The harder part was, I'm gonna say, kind of getting this, getting this uh, boat in here, because these bracket has a sort of an angle to them. So you gotta be careful when you when you install them. It has an angle to them. Uh, this bracket on the driver side, or oh, excuse me, I'm thinking of a car. This bracket on the uh, left hand side is kind of angling out. It's kind of angling out. I don't know if you can see that or not. Matter of fact, let me help you out a little bit. Hold on. of that when you put them on of course I'm in the, my bike is in the fifth position which means that it came out the uh, fact comes out the factory in the third position I moved it to the fifth position because of me being six feet tall so I had to stretch my legs out in order to get things going put my boat on here Those are the footboards. Okay, um, I'll give you a little situation I ran into. You see all this right here? This is uh, a bolt and a nut with the washer that was sent to me. It was part of my kit, all right? So it was this uh, nut, bolt, and washer right here. The rest of them, everything else fitted like it's supposed to. So here goes, here's what the problem was. This is the one right here that came in the package with me. All right. This is actually a bad boat. This boat is not the one, I'm going to say, for this for this uh, nut right here. Let me show you. See in there, you see that the um, the bolt is not going flush with the uh, nut all the way. So when you put one on, it should actually be smooth enough to just go flush with it. It should be able to. I'll show you with this one. So you understand what I mean. So, this is how it should look. See how that is, see how that is flushed? Right. So, let me show you the difference in it. So, you can see the difference in it right there. See how that is, this this one right here is flushed and this one right here. This one is flushed and on the one on the, one on the left is flushed, hope it, hope it catches it clear. One on the right, it doesn't doesn't go all the way down. So I end up over tightening it, and um, it caused me to strip out the head of the strip out the head, and then I couldn't get it out. So I had to uh, I grind it out, use the grinder, grind it all the way as far down as I go. Um, after I got finished grinding it, I uh, just broke it off. Went to went to Home Depot. Uh, picked up a replacement. This is the replacement I got from Home Depot right here. Hopefully it comes in. That's the replacement I got from Home Depot. You also can go a little bit bigger if you want to. 
for the inch and three quarters, almost two inches. So I went a little bit bigger with it. But the inch, it fits. So now you just tighten everything up. And that's your flow boards. PB1. Flow boards. I'm gonna hook my arm. Uh, my wife is already hooked up. Nothing is tightened up yet. It was already hooked up. It's not tightened up. It's just loose, so just hanging up. But that's what it looks like. Everything on it. So there's a video on sling mods that shows you how to go through this whole process. But I'm gonna give you something different that I did to mine that sling mod shows you. If you notice here, right here, you see how uh, all the rivets look the same. Or should I say bolts? But they rivets because they just go here. So the rivet heads are the same as the bolt heads. Right here. On sling mods, they put the washer at the top. That's where I messed up at. So I was a little battle scar on. Here they put the washer at the top. On mines, I put the washer underneath it. So you don't see the washer. It fits. So that's to give you a better look. Aesthetics make it look a little neater because that's what you'll look like. Like that. See hers is tight up. Nice and solid. But that's what it look like. It look a little better without that washer sitting there. So put your washer at the bottom underneath it. So it looks better. That one has the washer at the bottom. So once again, if you get your package, make sure all so you don't do like that. Make sure all your nuts and bolts fit. You don't have to grind it down. And it doesn't fit like, like that. So you can see the light in there. They kind of messed up that. It was a little clearer, but yeah. Compared to sitting flush. Easy to turn off, take off with one hand. PB1 flow boards from Sling Marks. Nice boards. I'm gonna ride out and test and see how they feel. I'll check back with you the people later. Yeah, you guys, man. Later. Oh, don't forget throw them threes.